a little known feature of Perseverance is its two LEDs that emit UV light. They're used to search for fluorescent minerals, like ones on Earth that produce strange colors in response to UV wavelengths. Now it may have found some. On this episode of Mars Guy, we last left Perseverance struggling up the rim of Jezero Crater. A recent drive of only three meters seems to demonstrate the challenge for a rover facing loose materials on a steep slope. In response, the team turned Perseverance toward this rockier terrain. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Perseverance is taking what may be its last look at the now familiar rocks of the carbonate-bearing margin unit. Less familiar are some rocks at the edge of Nuretva Vallis, the previous place that Perseverance deployed its arm and used the drill to make an abrasion patch. This is the place with the notably reddish bedrock, probably a result of the iron oxide mineral hematite. The abrasion operation may have exposed a tiny cave in the rock or just plucked out a loose piece but the whitish spots are a clear feature of this rock and probably contain sulfate minerals like the ones identified by the team in mineral veins on the other side of the valley. The UV lights on the Watson camera were used here, which is a fairly rare event because they rarely show anything interesting. But in this case, the whitish spots were clearly lighting up in the UV image. Note that the speckles result from the very low light level think visible noise. I wondered if some sulfate minerals fluoresce in blue wavelengths, so I decided to find out. I needed a light with the same UV wavelength that Watson uses, 365 nanometers, which is just short of what the human eye can see. This one has an LED with that wavelength, but also two at 395 nanometers, which definitely have a visible violet hue aka black light. These two I just taped over to block their light. None of the sulfate samples I have showed obvious fluorescence, but I was shocked to see these pebbles emitting a vivid orangish hue. They're from the gravelly regolith surrounding lava flows of the Pinacate volcanic field in Mexico, which I visited recently. The patchy character of the orange spots corresponds to what look like coated areas on the pebbles. I check to see if these spots fizz with the addition of dilute hydrochloric acid, a simple test for the presence of carbonate minerals, and sure enough they do. The acid converts CO3 molecules in carbonate to CO2 gas, which bubbles away. I confirmed the presence of calcite using infrared spectroscopy in the lab but not all calcite fluoresces, like in this example. Most shells are made mostly of calcite, and they do indeed fizz, but this one doesn't show obvious fluorescence. Closer to home, you can find shells that do fluoresce, which was a surprise to me, especially to see the variability. So what to make of the UV images from Mars? The spots are very unlikely to contain calcite. The carbonates that have been found in Jezero Crater are dominated by magnesium and iron carbonate, not calcium carbonate. But apparently there are varieties of gypsum, a calcium sulfate, that do fluoresce with bluish hues under long wavelength UV light like used by Watson, so that remains a possibility. The other instruments on Perseverance should provide a clear answer for the spots in this image, but I suspect they're due to reflected violet light from the longer wavelength leakage of the LEDs, as described by Edget et al. Convincing evidence of mineral fluorescence will need to show other hues, like reds and greens. But at least for now, Perseverance can deliver some shades of blue to the red planet.